Enjoying Wednesday, part of Elmhurst Public Library at Home, the library's online program series. Each week, our staff will be talking to you about what they're reading, watching, listening to, playing, or otherwise enjoying that they suggest to others. This week, I've really been enjoying puzzles. I love puzzles and own plenty of them, but my wallet has been very happy because I've been checking out puzzles from the library. Over the long weekend, I did this moon puzzle which is circular, so it's a very different approach than what I would normally take for a puzzle, especially because the colors are so similar. You can check out puzzles on the second floor in the adult department near the board games. At a time when we can't travel to other countries, Less by Andrew Sean Greer is here to bring you on an amazing journey. This book won the Pulitzer Prize for its portrayal of growing older and the essential nature of love. Our protagonist, Arthur Less, is considered to be a not very successful novelist and is about to reach a milestone birthday when he receives an invitation to the wedding of his ex-boyfriend. This is a really awkward situation, so Arthur considers his options and decides to instead accept every single invitation he's received to really unusual literary events all around the world. What could go wrong? If you like humor, a bit of poignance and romance, you might like to take a trip around the world with Arthur Less. Hi, I'm Miss Allison from the Kids Library, and today I'd like to share with you a chapter book that we've been enjoying at home. This is Dragons and Marshmallows, the first book of the Zoe and Sassafras series. Zoe is a budding young scientist, and Sassafras is her cat. Together, they use the scientific method to help heal sick animals that come to their house. But these aren't just regular animals. These are magical animals, such as this little dragon right here. This has been a huge success. It's the first chapter book we ever tried to read to our five-year-old, and she loves it. We went through the book in about three days. Um, she couldn't wait for me to read it for her, so she had my husband read it to her while I was working. And both my husband and I were so interested in the story that we went back and read the parts that we didn't get to read. Hi everyone, the book I'm recommending is An American Marriage, a novel by Tiari Jones. In hauntingly beautiful prose, Tiari takes the reader on a journey of loyalty, injustice, and forgiveness, all woven through the intimate relationship of a marriage. This character-driven story focuses on how a wrongful conviction affects the love story of a young African-American couple. Both moving and complex, messy and thought-provoking, this is a great selection for your next book club. Hi, I'm Katie from the Kids Library, and today I wanted to share a book I recently finished. It's called One Dumb Guy, and is a biography about the sketch comedy group Kids in the Hall. This book was written by Paul Myers, who actually happens to be the older brother of Mike Myers from Saturday Night Live fame in a ton of movies. Uh, but the reason I really liked this book is because it includes interviews with all five members of the group. If you're unfamiliar with Kids in the Hall, they are a Canadian sketch comedy group and originated in Toronto in the late 80s, had a TV show on HBO and in later years, Comedy Central. But this book, oh, along with the interviews, includes how they formed as a group, um, also includes a lot of background on some of their most famous sketches from the TV show, and also talks a lot about what they did after the TV show. In fact, they even still tour today. So I highly recommend this book for anyone who is a fan of comedy in general, even if you haven't heard of Kids in the Hall before. I guarantee if you read this book, you will be searching for clips online or picking up the TV show again. So I hope you enjoy.